All right, folks, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about RTL, SDR, Software Defined Radio. This is one of the SDRs that I use. It's not my only SDR, but it's probably my most used SDR. And you can get these off of RTLSDR.com or their Amazon store, and I'll include some links below. I also have videos where I show how to install this and software to run your SDR on a Raspberry Pi and a Windows 10 machine. I'll include those links in a playlist below as well. Anyhow, recently I had been picking up some interference on a new antenna that I was playing with. It's an NFED long wire antenna. It's about 66 feet long, and I use a 49 to 1 Balin or Unun -un for impedance matching. I've got tons of antenna videos in an antenna playlist that'll be linked below if you want to learn more about those. Anyhow, to combat some of this interference or problems I was having, I decided to pick up these two products from RTLSDR.com as well. The first one is a band stop for FM broadcast band. Sometimes I like to listen to FM broadcast band on my RTL SDR. Other times when I'm listening to adjacent frequencies, my, my SDR can become overloaded or flooded with the strong stations on the FM broadcast region. So you get a blocker like this that will attenuate those signals and allow you to hear other signals that you wish to listen to. The same thing holds true for this AM high pass filter that I picked up, and it cuts off zero um, uh, kilohertz to 2.6 megahertz. What I want to do in this video is I want to connect these up to a spectrum analyzer so we can see how they work, and then give you a real world demonstration using my SDR. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll include these links below. Here you can see the broadcast FM block filter for 88 to 108 megahertz. Here you can see the inside, and basically it's just a collection of LC circuits. There's also some measurement or metric data. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna compare this uh, to our unit that we got on our Siglin SSA 3021X spectrum analyzer. Here's just some more information. I also picked up this one. It's a broadcast AM reject high pass filter. 2.6 megahertz. Here you can see the inside is much the same as the FM block. So what I like about this spectrum analyzer is that it has a tracking generator. And what that allows me to do is to emit a signal in concert or series with the sweep that is performed on the RF input. This means that I can measure a frequency response through a given device like these filters, at the same rate that I inject a signal into the device. It's actually extremely handy. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to wire up the AM high pass filter. I'm going to turn on the tracking generator and then I'm going to set a frequency span. We have our span from 0 to 150 megahertz. I've also normalized the tracking generator. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it down to about negative 20 dB. So that way we can see exactly what's going on our reference line. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the high pass filter. I sped this up a little bit so I don't bore you to death. All right, the filter's in line, and then you can see our frequency resp response. That's not exactly easy to see, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust our span. So now you can see that everything below 2.6 is attenuated below 40 dB. And what that should do is that should stop any AM stations from interfering with any other frequencies or signals that I'm trying to listen to. So it's pretty handy. I've turned on a marker, and you typically put a marker at about negative 3 dB from your reference line, and that's considered your roll-off. And once I do that, we can take a look at this data table, and you can see we're right around 2.5, 2.6 megahertz. So it looks like the device is working as expected. Okay, so now I'm going to set up the FM block, and when I do that, I'm also going to go through and I'm going to adjust my span, the same way that we did for the AM high-pass filter. And 
And then you can see that the range of spectrum for FM broadcast station is attenuated below 40 dB. So again, the device is working as expected. Let's go ahead and throw a couple of markers on here, and then we can compare our readings with that that were published on the Amazon site. Okay, here's a screenshot that I captured from the Spectrum Analyzer. And you can see marker one at around 76.26 megahertz. And then marker two is at 125.09 megahertz. And that's about where we have our 3 dB roll off that we spoke about earlier. Let's go ahead and take a look and compare this to what is on the Amazon site. So we were at 76.2 and they are advertising 76.0 and then we were at 125 and they are 122.185. I'm going to say that that is close enough for government work. So here we are in SDR Sharp and what I'm going to do is allow you to hear what I'm hearing and it is a harmonic or an overload of an AM station on the CB band. It shouldn't be there, and that's what alerted me that I potentially had a problem. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. I'm also having the exact same problem in the 10 meter band. Let's go ahead and take a listen there, and you'll hear another AM station. So I go ahead and I wire in the AM high band pass filter and what happens is is that those signals go away. The other thing that happens is, is that my overall noise floor drops, which is a good thing because it allows me to see or hear other signals that I was not receiving before. So if you're having similar problems with any kind of front end overloading or problems with your signal, I'd suggest go ahead and trying some of these out and seeing if it helps you. Anyhow, that's going to take us to the end of our video. I really want to thank everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks again, everybody.